it like? What's it like in New York City? A thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Times Square can shine as bright as you. I swear it's true, yeah. Hey, little Lila, don't you worry about the distance. Right there, you can lonely give this song another listen. Close your eyes. Listen to my voice, it's my disguise. By your side. Whoa. What you do to me? Oh, what you do to me? Oh, what you do to me? Oh, what you do to me? Ain't it a lie? No, times are getting hard. Just believe me, girl, someday you pay the bills with this guitar. I'm heavy good. Oh, have a life and you'll be worried. My word is good. Hey there, Delilah, I've got so much left to say. Every simple little song I wrote to you would take your breath away. Write it all. Even more in love with you, I'd fall in hell at all. Oh, what you do to me? of you, yeah, we can do whatever we want to, hey there Delilah, here's you, this one's for you, oh, what you do to me, oh, what you do to me, yeah.
for the gram. Bitches love the gram. What's up, my friends? What's going on? You guys, we're live right now on the YouTube. Let me get the Reddit started real fast so we can get the show on the road, y'all. Nice to see everybody. One second, guys. We hit the start button right now on the Reddit. Yes. And we are good to go. Reddit in the kitchen. Boom. We should be live. Live. There we go. We're live. Oh, my God. All right, guys, what's everybody doing today? You guys, it's a Saturday, so you know what day it is today. We do the cooking stream thing. We got Chef Michelle in the house today, cooking up a storm as usual. I've got my new fly hat on. I'm yeah. so happy. With your fresh haircut? Yes, my fresh haircut. Yeah, you can't even see it underneath the hair. Would you say the, the freshest hat. fly fade? The freshest fly fade, it actually <laughs> is. <laughs> you, you, you got it. That's exactly what it is. We got the freshest fly fade. Um, oh, one second here. So let me get this opened up and okay remember not to do that all right we're good to go uh let me pull up my chats all right guys uh, hello everyone ryu saves in the house what's up we got tammy black Man. tammy came in with a raid today oh nice tammy thank you for supporting um let me show uh, let me check your mic go ahead oh. hi check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right we're good we're good okay all right, what's up, Becky Mason in this house? Uh, hello, Becky Mason's in the house. We got a Paul Torres set. We got Jail Parks. Hello, hello. Toxin is here. <laughs> Kelly Dawn, Cheese Paris, Eric Constance. We got everybody here today. I'm very, very excited. We got 37 people just hanging out in the room right now, and uh, we're getting things kicked off. Michelle, I'm going to let you go ahead and take the reins and do this thing. Okay. Let's have a good day of uh, cooking food and family, you guys. Are yes. you ready? <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Um, well, first, Thank you guys for all being here. Um, and thank you to Sunny for setting all of this up. I'm really excited about uh, today's menu. It's actually all um, healthy, living inspired um, menu items. So of course, I love Sunny and I want him to live a long, healthy life with me. And so, um, you know, he's definitely been, um, been really good about on, on his uh, diet quest and yes. journey. Um, it's definitely a struggle every day, you know, to to be healthy, but it's all about making good choices and everything in moderation, of course. Um, so, you know, we love food. <laughs> yes, <we do>. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. food does not love us <laughs> as, as much. <laughs> um, but, you know, we still want to we still want to eat good things, but also um, be healthy and like take care of our bodies like. Um, you know, as we as we get older, it's it's even more important for us to to take care of our health, so that way we can not have other health issues come yes, up. Yes, <laughs> yes, that would be very good, actually. Yeah. So, um, so with that said, um, we're gonna start off with a keto cloud bread, um, which I thought was really awesome. I actually found learned about it on TikTok. <laughs> you can learn a lot of things on TikTok. Um, but yeah, it's a keto cloud bread. It's uh, it's super easy. And um, I tried it actually for the first time earlier today, and it tastes kind of like Yorkshire pudding. I don't know, it's like light and airy. It does, um, yeah. And we're gonna do that. It's it's like kind of mild in flavor, so I wanted to do a, a garlic dipping oil to go with it. So um, so we're gonna start off with that. We're also gonna do a shrimp wedge salad. Um, one of Sunny's favorite salads is is a wedge salad yes. so <laughs> I wanted to show you um, you probably if you're in our um, if you follow on any of the social media you probably see pictures of his lunch and sometimes it's like this amazing looking like wedge salad um, and it's super easy but it just looks really impressive because I think like it just stacks up so high um, so I think anytime you can get height it like makes it all 
like automatically look better. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna do that. And uh, then we're also gonna do a Zupa Toscana. Um, this is a soup that I recently started to make for Sunny and he absolutely loves it. Um, it's, it's really easy, really healthy, and full of flavor, um, most importantly. And it feels like, like hearty, like you'll feel full. Um, even though it's just a soup. <laughs> yeah, it does. I can I can definitely confirm that um, it is a healthy soup, but yet you feel very very satisfied when you have it. So it's a yeah. good thing. Uh, real quick, I want to say thank you to Sweaty Bat Wings. Thank you for the helpful on Reddit. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully these healthy menu items will inspire you to to make something healthy at home tonight too yes <laughs> <laughs> um and then uh to finish off our menu we're gonna do a kenyaki carbonara so um for those of you who don't know what kenyaki is it's a it's a low carb like zero calorie yam noodle yeah uh, it's it's a like, miracle food yeah. i'm telling you it's it's and so <laughs> healthy and it's got tons of fiber Tons of fiber, but go, go ahead. So Sunny introduced this to me. I actually never knew even what it was. I think the first time I had it was in Thailand, right? Yes, um, I believe so. Yeah, because I guess that's it was more common there than before it became popular here yeah, in America. Yeah, it's really popular. Um, so the first time I had kunyaki, I was like, what is this? How does how is this possible that it has zero calories? <laughs> like, <laughs> um, but it's it's nice because it has texture. And they actually look like noodles, so it kind of tricks your brain into thinking that you're eating like noodles or pasta. Um, and so, yeah, we're gonna do that today. And um, yeah, so we'll get started with our uh, keto cloud bread. So, um, so Sunny, this is gonna get a little bit loud. Soon. Okay, I can turn you in. Just let me know when yeah, I need to turn it down. When. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna wash my hands because we're gonna crack some eggs first. Yo, Mr. Yano just dropped 10 pounds on the YouTube. Oh, thank you. Mr. Yano coming in <laughs> already so says, much. looking forward to the yummy outcome, chef. chef. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. Hot Pink, um, yeah, Hot Pink asking about my, my weight loss. The way that I lost most of my weight, or actually all of it, is simply portion control. So I just try to cut back on all the foods that I would eat and also make sure I wasn't eating sugar and carbohydrates and um, and I would be careful with my fat too so you know that's what I would do and, and it's worked really well I lost over 150 pounds but um, I still got a lot more to go so but thank you for asking whoa what is that sorry oh, that's the that was oh, the eggs okay. turn that a little bit. Um, also thank you for the party train puddles ap of apathy thank you for the party train hello Baron same these what's up Baron I don't have let's do it again for you today <laughs> Hello, Baron. I, I we don't we're we're not doing music today, but but hi, how are you? What's up, just juggernaut? Hello, Mr. Yano. Thank you again for the ten pounds. I appreciate that. William Beeman. Hello, William. <laughs> Sending you love. So I'm just taking. Um, I'm gonna do three eggs, and I'm cracking the eggs into a separate bowl, and then I'm just grabbing the egg yolk out gently, and if you kind of move your your move the yolk from hand to hand it'll get the egg yolk off um, excuse me the egg white off the egg yolk so so we're gonna put the whites in one bowl and the yolk in another and i like to do it in a separate bowl because this way in case you break your yolk it won't ruin all of the other egg whites that are in there. So have you seen that trick where they take a two liter Coke bottle? I have seen that. And they suck the yolk out? Yep. Have you tried it yourself? I have not. Yeah, I don't know why it. it like, um, like it just seems like it's like a, an, another Unnecessary. vessel that I would have to like To wash, wash. or, yeah. Yeah, or then it's like, oh, I could just wash my hands. <laughs> yeah, no, I gotcha, I gotcha, I hear you. Because you can't have like, like Coke, Coke egg, you know, like you'd have to wash that. <laughs> Yeah, no, that would be gross. And it, and it is another thing to do, but it, it is pretty neat the way that it looks it when they do it. Yeah, it's amazing. So. It just, like, sucks it straight up. Yeah, a lot, in case you guys don't know, a lot of people do this thing where they take a two-liter bottle of Coke, empty it out, and it's and then they take it, they, they squeeze it, and then they, they like let go right on top of the egg yolk, and it sucks the egg yolk right back in. And it's, it's like, a really cool way to separate, but it is another vessel. It is another step, um, but it does seem very fun and yeah. interesting. Yeah. There's a lot of those cool hacks that are like, it's just cool to see it. Yeah, like, yeah. That it's possible. Um, 
Okay, so we have um, so we have our egg whites here, and then we're going to take some baking powder, and it's going to be an eighth of a teaspoon. Um, look at me actually measuring something. Whoa. Wow, that's <laughs> weird. I know, because it's like baking, I feel like I have to be more precise, otherwise it might not come out right. Um, so, yeah, this, um, a little bit of baking powder, or you can use cream of tartar, um, and this basically will help to stabilize the <laughs> egg whites. So we are going to now use a hand mixer, and we're going to mix the egg whites. So okay, that way I'll they just, become down. stiff peaks. Yeah, I'll so this is going to be for a few minutes. Okay, so um, that's done. But just let me know. All right, Tammy, thank you for the all-seeing upvote. Thank you, Tammy. And thank you, thank you again for the raid, Tammy. Thanks, Tammy. Super awesome. William Beeman, you said I inspire you with my diet every day. That's awesome. <laughs> What's up? Andy's here. What's up, Andy? Hey. How you doing? Hey, Andy. Oh, I'm finally remembering the names of who's who and what's what. <laughs> so we got we got Andy over here on the on the Reddit too right now. What's up? Thank you for the hee hee hee. Hello. What's up, Coco's mommy? Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. So Painter Painter Flimsy is Coco's mommy on Reddit. Uh, JL Parks, I don't think you can gift YouTube memberships that I know of, but I, what do I know? I'm a noob when it comes to the internet, so I, I'm not sure. That's a good question, though. So today on the menu, um, we are working on a couple things. We've got the Keto Cloud Bread with garlic dipping oil. That's what Michelle's working on right now. And then we'll soon be moving on to a shrimp wedge salad and a supa di scana and a konyaki carbonara. Oh, you can? You can gift YouTube gift cards? Oh, okay. <laughs> Andy, yeah, we just, we just try to, try to enjoy life when we can, you know? Oh, I can't hear you at all. It's so loud. That's really, really loud. Toxin! Toxin just uh, dropped $10! Toxin, thank you so much. Toxin just dropped Toxin just dropped $10. Says, oh says don't mind me. He says, just supporting the stream. Be well all. Love you, Toxin. Thank you very much for your support, Toxin. It's very sweet. Thank you. I also have to say how much I love seeing all the food pictures in Discord. Um, it's amazing to see like like what everybody's cooking at home and you guys eat good <laughs> like, oh, yeah. It's definitely inspiring. So thank you guys for posting their pictures. <laughs> wow, we got some great great chefs I think in our chat like um, Very creative people with some really really good content that they post. It's super awesome to see all that <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Your mic should be working now. So. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I was just saying um, what are you most excited for on the menu? Today? I, yeah to try something, <laughs> probably just to eat something. Um, I don't know. I, I, I I'm not sure. I, I, I'm probably the konyaki. Yeah. The the carbonara is such a cool thing, and and to have that in a in a healthy form, um, sounds really awesome to me. After trying Michelle's uh, cloud eggs uh, a few streams back, when she made the cloud eggs, it's like super exciting to try the keto cloud bread. Yeah. You know, it's so different. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know. 
know if Wiz is around right now. I'm not sure. That's a good question. Yeah, maybe. Check, check one more. Two, 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 check one. Two, two, check one. All right, I think that's better for me. Um, X3141592. Yes, yeah, she'll be making dinner for pretty much everybody tonight. I think this is just part of the meal. Um, pull and cooking show, and then, you know, we'll be doing more stuff later. So, Ryu say we have not been posting the recipes anywhere. Um, we will be, I think, doing that more often later. Um, but right now, we have not been posting recipes, which we should. I absolutely think we should. The problem is a lot of the cooking that Michelle and the family does, we don't follow a lot of recipes. We do it a lot by taste. So trying to, like, explain that in a, in a recipe is really hard to do for us. But, but, you know, that's what we should do is try to take the time to maybe, like, definitize and finalize just exactly how much you should be putting in. Um, by like, you know, whether it's tablespoon or, or, or measuring tool. Um, but honestly, everything everything changes every day. When we flavor something, it's never the same because we go exactly by the ingredients of what's put in and, and what it tastes like. So, um, what's up, Super Newt? Super Newt just gave $3. Says, Sorry, I can't give more, but love you guys. Super Newt, that's really, really, really nice. You, you never, don't, please, you know, don't, you don't have to feel like you're, um, like feel, obligated. yeah, you're never obligated and you don't need to feel bad at all for for not being able to give more or, or anything at all for that matter. We we love the fact that you guys come and watch us. That's yes. all we could ask for. <laughs> um, like, that's it. That's the most wonderful thing in the world and there there's nothing else that we would ever expect from you guys. The fact that you guys come here to watch us just, it it, um, it totally fills our hearts. So like, please don't don't ever think that that's a bad thing. So thank you though. Yes, thank you. So, um, nice. we just got, what's up, Cameron Amadi is here. What, well, Cameron, what's going on, baby? How you doing, man? It's been a minute since <laughs> I've seen you. So, uh, Sid, um, have you talked to Sid at all? I missed what? that guy. Um, Cameron is, uh, one of Sid's old friends from, oh, really? from San Rafael. I used oh, to, um, a very, very smart right. guy, very cool, very yeah. sweet guy. Um, and, uh, I, it's been like a billion years since I saw oh. you, Cameron. But how are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> We're hanging out doing a cooking show today. Yeah. Um, what's up, Randall? Hello, hello. And, and Dennis Young is on the YouTube and the Facebook right now. What's up, guys? Hello, Tasha. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, <laughs> All right, Michelle, let's okay. get get back to what oh, you're yes. doing. Um, so, so here are egg whites um, that are mm. whipped up. They look so magical. They're so different, yeah. right? It's so yeah. crazy. I know. It is like magic. <laughs> and then we're going to take some um, cream cheese. I really like this Philadelphia brand cream cheese. Uh, you're going to need to let it come up to room temperature to be softened. So I did uh, already pre-soften some cream cheese here. And measuring again, <laughs> we have a third of a cup of cream cheese that's gonna go into the egg yolks. So I am going to, I'm gonna eyeball it. And let's see how how accurate I can measure <laughs> with, <laughs> with my eyeball. Um, X314, we do all live together, yes. Um, and are we all talented? I, I guess so. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, uh, how to answer that. But but all of us love the arts. All of us love cooking. All of us love music. We love creation, um, whatever it is. Um, but we do all live together, yes. Um, we got we, it's, a, it's a whole band, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Claw? Hello, Claw. What's up? Yeah, and then I cook for the band. <laughs> What's up, Jason? It. What's up, Jason? It. What's going on? Oh, Andy just dropped four ninety nine, with hey. with with a joke. Oh my oh, god! A joke. So a Andy just dropped uh four ninety nine pounds and says, "What do you call fake spaghetti?" Anyone? Anyone? Without? Don't cheat! Don't Are cheat! You uh, Come on, you guys got this one. Foschetti. What? What? Foschetti. Foschetti. No. It's an an impasta. Oh, that's that's really, really, really good. That's cute. I like that, Andy. That's cute. I really like that. Uh, thank you again for your donation, thank Andy. You. That's really nice. Thank, thank you for you. the love. Thank love on the YouTube. You. Oh man, what's up, Cameron Ahmad? Yes, it's been a long time, man. Oh man, it it's yeah, it's been a long time. I, I miss Sid so much, man. I I want to go back to Thailand and see him so badly. So, but maybe when this Corona stuff is over, who, who knows? You know. So we have our cream cheese and our egg yolks. Um, and then I want to add a little bit of some grated Parmesan. Okay. 
and a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna whisk again. Sunny. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> um, hi, how, hi, how you doing? Um, yes, the stove cam is the most action right now in the house. It's got so much action going on right now. Eventually, we'll start having some action over there. Not yet. <laughs> Hello, Bilal. How are you doing? Hello, Kyle. What's up? Welcome, Ky Kylie. Is it Kylie? I'm going to say Ky Kylie. Kylie. Kylie Samra. Welcome, welcome. How did you find us, Kylie? Uh, so now we're going to take our egg white and start folding it in to the egg yolk mixture. And Are you done mixing, it. Michelle? Yes. Oh, sorry. Mixing, sorry. Okay, go ahead. Thanks. Um, so we're folding in the egg whites now to the egg yolk mixture. And um, you want to be kind of gentle when you're um, mixing these two together because you don't want to deflate your egg whites. But... We spent so long <laughs> mixing. <laughs> so, um, so I do mine in like portions. Wow, it looks so fluffy. But I basically will cut down Whoa. through the center and then fold over. So this way you can get it mixed, but also um, keep them fluffy. Nice. I thought this would be a really fun thing to make with kids. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I can imagine being like, I mean, young at heart. I was like, this is awesome. It looks so fun. Yeah. Move the mic a little closer. Yeah. Okay. Check check. I'll turn it towards the yeah that one. yeah yep perfect cool. All right. Kylie, you you um you found our video yesterday. Which video did you find? That's awesome. I'm so glad that you discovered us. So welcome yeah, in. That's welcome. great. That's did you, did you watch a cooking video or were you watching a um a music video or a gaming video? We do a couple different things here on this channel. <laughs> um painter flimsy Michelle does not cook every night. She cooks very often, um, but not every night. We do a rotation. We take turns. Yep, we do, it's we do. We do now. Nice. We used to yeah, not nice. take turns. <laughs> yeah. It used to be all pretty much Michelle yeah. like twenty four hours <laughs> yeah. a day. Yeah, so. but <laughs> ever since, you know, with COVID and stuff, we've um, we don't go out to eat as often and you know even even takeout could be risky like um, so we try to cook as much as we can at home and it's like you know it's healthy and it teaches you so much like when you have to cook a meal for a lot of people it it teaches you like time management preparing in advance like being really organized um, and then just like the thoughtfulness and mindfulness of like like preparing a meal for somebody that you love and care about so um, I I think there's like a lot of really great benefits to, to cooking and there cooking are a ton other. yes there's so many great benefits um yeah. real quick uh, Annie just dropped another joke with another 499 pounds thank <laughs> you Annie jokes. <laughs> yeah, Annie's jokes are the best them. Annie's jokes are the best but, but he may be out of them after this so um, <laughs> this last one says um, why did the skeleton go to the barbecue oh that's an easy one that's an easy one. Come on, guys. What is it? I Don't already, cheat. I already oh, you already read it? You already read it? Okay. Oh, I snickered when it popped up. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, I don't know. Does it have to do with bones? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of bones do you have at the, at the barbecue? Chicken bones. I'll give her, can I give her a hint? <laughs> sure. Okay. Something that... Was made. You're just gonna give it away. Don't no, no, forget. Just forget it. The, the answer. The answer is. Life. The answer is to get another rib. Whoa! Oh. And you it, crazy. Yes. <laughs> crazy. I really like those jokes. Or Herbal, yeah. Herbal Galactus says he went to the barbecue to get barbecue. Yeah. That's, that's very yeah. true, probably. So funny. <laughs> All right. So. Thank you for all the jokes. <laughs> yes, really enjoy we, we love the jokes. Those are awesome. Yes. Kylie, I'm so glad that you got a, you got to watch our live music stream. We do that every Monday through Friday. 
um, at 10.30 a.m. PST. So if you ever need a little bit of music in the morning, you can come hang out with us. Uh, we just get kind of crazy and get kind of zany and stupid. Um, but that's, you know, that's just who we are. So we just have, have a good time. <laughs> yeah, my life would definitely be so boring without Sunny because he's constantly making me smile. <laughs> <laughs> so um i am just scooping out our batter now onto some parchment paper and this will be our our cloud bread <laughs> wow cheryl w cheryl w is that cheryl w is in cheryl cheryl your sister w uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Cheryl, are you Cheryl? Are you are you, are you are you Michelle's <laughs> sister? This is Cheryl W. Are you are you uh, Michelle's sister? Or are you a different uh, Cheryl? I'm not sure. Hello, Icy Wolf. How are you? I didn't say hi to you earlier. Hello, Cheese Paris. How are you too? <laughs> Cow Babble says your smile muscles must be ripped. <laughs> oh, to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes my my cheeks hurt from smiling so much. It literally, we were just talking yeah, about that to, we uh, yesterday or something or today this morning. <laughs> okay, so here's our cloud bread I'm about to go in the oven. So this is going to go in at 350 for 25 minutes. I'm going to set a timer because I will literally forget about them. <laughs> Did we get a confirmation with that Cheryl is this the right Cheryl? Um, not yet. No, not yet. So it might not be. It might not be. Yeah, it might not be. I think it's an L now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. It's probably not the same Cheryl. Yeah, probably well, not. Well, nice to have you anyway, Cheryl. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. It's a little other Cheryl. <laughs> Jail Parks wrote. <laughs> All right, so um, while that is um, while that's in the oven, we're actually gonna do our our garlic dipping oil next. So um, grab bowl. So this garlic dipping oil is super easy and I used to I used to think this was like something that was so crazy like you go to this restaurant and they serve you bread and they've got this like fancy dipping oil and they're like oh everybody loves it so now we're gonna sell it like for in bottles like and you can make this at home with just like probably whatever you have in your kitchen so um, so first we're gonna take some just some crushed garlic so this is garlic that I had already um, pre-minced. And then we're going to season it with some dried oregano. And you can, um, you can do this to taste. So, you know, use portions to, to however much you want to make. This is um, some dried thyme. And we're going to do some dried basil. I like dried basil, so I'm going to put extra basil. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're going to do some red chili flakes. So all you're going to do is just pour olive oil and mix. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, like how easy Tips is and that? Tricks. It's so, so easy. simple, but it's so it's delicious. Oh, wait, actually, simple. sorry, I forgot. I missed a couple ingredients. Um, there's um, salt. You do need salt, and a um, a splash of of vinegar. Where did my vinegar go? Here it is. Um, I just do a splash of red wine vinegar, and now we're done. <laughs> That smells so good. I can totally yeah. smell it. You can smell it already. Oh, yeah. I can, absolutely. 100%. Yeah, I definitely thought that was, like, way more complicated. Yeah. When we go to, like, you know, restaurants and stuff. Yes. So, that's the, this is the dipping oil. Like, like just a couple of ingredients. And you can, 
you know, use whatever it is that you have in the house. Um, so you want to let this sit though for about uh, 30 minutes. So, so all the, the flavors can kind of marry together. <laughs> so I'm just going to set this aside. Um, that dipping oil you can you can keep for a while um, you know you just stick it in the fridge and the the oil will probably congeal a little but if you just leave it out it'll come up to room temperature and turn back into the the oil so you can just leave it out for like 10 minutes and mix it around so yeah so we're going to do our um, we're gonna start on our salad next so I have some some shrimp that I've defrosted and I'm gonna strain out the water. Andy has another another terrible joke. Yay! <laughs> Andy, Andy just drops another 499 pounds on us and says Aww. where do you go to buy soup in bulk? <laughs> soup in bulk? <laughs> Costco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's my answer. He said the answer is the stock market. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Baron Samedies is asking, do we have trifle where we are? Trifle. Um like the dessert? Like what kind of trifle? Like um, when I, when you say trifle, I think like a yeah, like a dessert. Yeah. But I'm not sure if that's a trifle that you mean. Or are you trying to say? Are you trying to spell truffle? I'm not sure. Tell us more. Painter flims is very easy. I guarantee you could do it. So I'm just patting our um, our shrimp dry. Um, you want to make sure to absorb all of the moisture um, that's on the shrimp so that way when you cook it it'll get that nice sear so if you've ever cooked shrimp and you're like oh it just kind of looks like kind of pink and rubbery like it probably had too much moisture um, when you were cooking it try for the pudding trifle oh. pudding oh. is that like mm. the Pudding with where it's like in Jake, layers. Jake, tell us. Tell <laughs> yeah, us. Jake, Jake, tell us. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a layered dessert. one, right? Yeah, it's like it's I like. It's like I think Michelle's made it, right? Um, I did a um a version of it with the banoffee because it's layered yeah. like a trifle. Yeah. Um, but it was like individual portions, so. Yeah. Yeah. Cold custard and yeah. jelly. That's what Baron says. Mm -hmm. Huh. I think I've had something like that um, at Harris Ranch. It's like on the way to oh, LA. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it's like it's actually. I think it's one. Of, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I, I think it's like a like. From what I remember, the one I had, it was like custard with strawberries and like kind oh, of like a chocolate really good. cake, oh, God, kind of is, in the middle, and really then good. custard, strawberries, chocolate cake, and then like some. This sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> I like anything custard. I love custard. Yes. Man. Cold custard and jelly. Yes, really I know good. that. I've definitely had that. Yes, yeah. I, I couldn't. I couldn't remember actually. That was called the trifle um, or trifle dessert. But I love that. You know what I really like that when you say jelly, and I, I don't know why it triggered it. It made me think of um, what is it called? That bread during Christmas that you get that everybody oh, hates. Fruit cake. Fruit cake. Oh, I love fruit cake. People fruit hate fruit cake, but oh, I yeah. love fruit cake. You and your cake. dad. Me and my yeah. dad, I could, I could, I love that fruit cake <laughs> stuff. It's crazy. You like the um, the red yes. things in it? I, I do. What are they? They're dried cherries. I don't or, know like, what the hell they are. I'm not cherries? really sure what, what the hell they, they are. are. They're really good. I like the green things in it too. Yeah, what are the green things? I don't, like, I don't really know. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I am going to um to get our. Hey Iceman, what's up? Iceman 3000 is here. What's up, Iceman? Hello. <laughs> Strawberries in the jelly, sponge on the. Oh my god, this is so good oh right now. Gosh. Jeez. 
Hey, David Joseph. David Joseph, what's up? Hi. How you doing? We do. We do take turns cooking, yes. Not on the show. Right now, the only person that does uh, any cooking on the show is Michelle. But, um, but yes, we do take turns cooking every, every day um, in the weekday. Oh, panettone. Panettone. How did you say? Is it panettone or panettone? I wonder. I love bread pudding also. It's like fruitcake, but so luxurious. <laughs> yes. I love that awesome. description. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Bread pudding is way luxurious good. Fruitcake. I love, I love bread pudding. What's up? Hello, three million. Yes, we all live together. We're, we're living in, in the same house right now. Oh my God. Dude, Andy, you better, you better be serious about that. I'm not even joking. Oh, snap. Dude, I'm not even joking about that. I, oh I want to try that. He, so, so Andy says, uh, it's, Andy's gonna send us a care package, Michelle. Really? Um, yeah, with a ton of UK food to try. I said spotted dick. Oh. Oh yeah. yeah. You know me. You know I want. Me. I want to try some of that spotted dick. Yeah. Are you allowed to ship that overseas? I don't know. I'm not sure. As long as it's you know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure, but a jam roly poly and marmite. I just I was I, mean, we just, I was just thinking about marmite today. Really? I was so thinking about weird. marmite. You're I, I so was, weird. What is that weird? You're so weird. It's, it's not weird. <laughs> I was think, I was like it was like a fake like British rap <laughs> battle between funny. marmite and vegemite, and I was like, it's, which one will you choose, you the marmite or the vegemite? And I ended choosing up choosing the marmite. Panettone, panettone, panettone. Del Parks, this is a panettone. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Kylie, what's my favorite food? I don't know. It's really hard to say. I really love all sorts of different food. I love Indian food. I love Chinese food. I love Thai food. I love everything food. I, I don't know. It's really hard for me to decide. <laughs> I love uni. I love uh, exotic, crazy food. I love tr truffle. I love caviar. I love... All sorts of stuff. That's a really hard one. I mean, me and my brother and, my, and Michelle, we used to have this conversation all the time. Like, oh, what, yes. what would our last meal be? And we would, it'd always be some toss up between like Indian or, or sushi. Indian and sushi like, or yeah. Thai yeah. or dim sum, yeah. you know, or yeah. something. It's or Chinese, you know, it'd be crazy <laughs> stuff. So, so. Um, so you could see that um, the shrimp has some good caramelization because um, we patted that shrimp real dry. And then all it was is just salt and pepper and then butter in a hot pan. So um, we don't want to overcook it. So I'm going to turn it on, turn it down. Oh, is that the difference? Marmite has the endorsement of the queen, while Vegemite oh. does not. I was actually wondering what the difference was, and then I is was there like, a difference? Is is are the two actually flavor wise? Are they different? Are they different things, or are they not? Because I'm not familiar. I can't really speak. I don't. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a mite professional. <laughs> mite professional. <laughs> I've had Vegemite, but I've never had Marmite. I've had both, uh, and we have some. We have some Vegemite here, don't we? I've never had you Vegemite. do. Do we have Marmite or Vegemite? We had no. some. Yeah, we had somebody brought some over. Yes. Oh, this yeah. sounds familiar. Yeah. So I think it was a Laura. We did have some. Somebody, somebody brought oh, some. Oh, like, huh. those like, little things. Like, hey, some Vegemite. Yeah. Vegemite. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, Wizzle is ridiculous here. Hello, Wizzle. Hello, how are you today? Hey, Wiz. Hello. Dragon Xavier in the red. Hello, Dragon Xavier. Hey, hard-boiled eggs and I I actually learned that if I steam the eggs they actually peel much easier I used to have the toughest time peeling eggs that I boiled to hard boil and like I would just spend like an hour like picking little pieces off off the uh, the eggs so this is actually so much easier um, you're just gonna bring a pot 
of water up to boil and then get your steamer tray in there. I'm gonna pop in six eggs and then cover it and set that for 13 minutes. 13 so, minutes. Yep, 13 minutes and you'll have easy to peel hard boiled eggs. <laughs> nice. So I'm just gonna grab my bacon. Smells really good. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it smells really good. We've got like a lot of different things going yeah, what, on. What is that? This, man, what is that? Um, it might be the bacon. Man, it smells good. <laughs> or it could be the cloud bread in the oven. <laughs> it could be a variety of things. Um. <laughs> we just got a donation from Bilal Alexander oh, for, for five dollars, and oh and Bilal says, "Let's make a bet." All ten times this five bucks, if Danielle, Kristen, or Michelle can go five minutes without smiling. If I win, I get first dibs <laughs> on the next dish. All right, who's gonna take? I think the person who could take on this challenge would be Kristen. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't do it either. Yeah. No, I'm still like laughing. You I'm already sure I'm losing already. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even started. <laughs> I'm gonna take the first dibs. Yeah. 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 I will accept this bet. Oh, yeah. okay. Wait, are you serious? Wait, are challenge. You starting okay, wait, so we gotta. Challenge accepted. She's gonna get out. She's gotta get all the smiles out. Wait, wait, wait. What about this? So, what if if I make her laugh, or we can get her to laugh or That's smile? Oh yes. Can, can, are you gonna? Like you have that. to like quadruple yes. your. You have to quadruple your bet. It's not ten times. It's forty times. Are you down with that? <laughs> this will be much <laughs> let's, more exciting. Let's, let's make the odds really crazy. <laughs> Five minutes is a really long time. Five minutes is it a is. long time. I'm so happy. It, <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> do it for the family. Yes, I believe you can do it. Thanks. <laughs> I believe you I cannot believe. smile. You cannot <laughs> for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so are we gonna set a timer? Are we gonna really Wait, do this? Are we? Are, are, yeah, are we doing this? Are we, are we gonna keep trying to? Make her laugh the whole time. I don't know. I don't know. This point, I don't think there's a make her laugh kind of thing, but okay. it's gonna be hard enough for her not yeah. to laugh as it is. So. Yeah. So she's. So we're not. So what? Wait. What's happening? So she can't. <laughs> so she cannot know. It we, it's, it's one. It's one person. So we'll get, we'll put the bets on Kristen because okay, yeah. you're not gonna be able to handle no, it. You have no, no control no, at all. Terrible. You're just yeah. impossible. Michelle, yeah. she's busy. I just she's have a working. Smile face, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, there you go. There you go. But Kristen, she's got an evil side in her. If she. If she. If she. If she embraces the the, the, the true side? side of her, Jesus, <laughs> she will no. she will not be able to smile at all. In fact, it'll be impossible for her to smile. So let me get this. Let me. Um, hey Siri, set a timer a for five minutes. Yes, I really like this challenge. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, good stuff. Waiting for the stupid timer to go off. Jesus, it's not even starting. Come on, timer, Siri. Look at it. What is this? This is Siri. Come on. Okay. The timer is set for five minutes. Boom. Are you ready? Yeah. That's it. No smiling. Here we go. Boom. Oh, that oh, no. That almost looks like a freaking smile. You, you, you're allowed to talk, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> oh, no! Sunny, why did you do that? Oh, I know mental preparation. I was not ready. What did you do, Sunny? She would have been fine. Oh, that was the best. That was the best. I need the silence in order to go to the dark side. That was the best. That was the best. That was absolutely that was so good. It was so That's terrible. really funny. Oh man. Oh, oh, oh my god. I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh, oh man. I'm sorry um, to disappoint the family. Oh no, it's all good. I, that was worth it. I, I'm I'm very much willing to give that up for, for that. That was really fun. Um, um, Andy just dropped another one. It says, um, four ninety nine, um, of four ninety nine pounds, and it says Kristen, want to hear a joke about pizza? Kristen loves pizza. Yeah, never mind. It's too cheesy. Oh, oh. That's a good one. Yeah, if, if I didn't get her, he would have got her anyway, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Did not even 30 seconds. No, it was like two seconds. <laughs> hey Siri, stop your stupid timer. <laughs> Oh man, that was really good. That was really funny. Jeez. That was <laughs> How long did you get? It was like uh, less than a minute. Oh, it was, wi- it was oh, like it was 26 like seconds. seconds. It was like oh. so really good. Oh. I think we need to do this challenge again. Yeah. Like, I need, I think there needs to be like a redo at some point in time. <laughs> it doesn't have to be today. but Possibly, yes. I'll, I'll prepare myself just in case. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bilal just dropped $5. Says, I'll take pink salmon. And some of those potato skins with the orange Julius on the side. Oh, <laughs> yes. Mm, nice. Yeah, I can In the definitely. Orange. Yeah, for, uh, I'll do a salmon dish for the next next stream. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so um, what I've just been doing is uh, I took a aroma tomato. I like to get the, if you're able to get tomatoes on the vine, I feel like they are much fresher and taste better. So anytime you are able to find that. Um, and all I did was I cut it in half and then I, I like scooped out all the seeds, like the seeds in the water. That way you can just have um, just the tomatoes flesh for, for the salad. Um, I hate like watery tomato <laughs> in my salad. So. Yeah, it's pretty, Soggy pretty salad. lame. Yeah. Uh, what up, Doom Cypress? What's going on? Hello, Jamie Setchel as well here. Hello, Jamie. How are you? Zach Barber is here. Hello, Zach. Hello. What's up, Zach? How you doing today? And then this is just some bacon that I had cooked up earlier in the air fryer. So oh, it sounds it's, so delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so it's just um, 350 for the air fryer at um, for about maybe about 15 minutes. And halfway through I flip it so at about the seven minute seven to eight minute mark you give it a flip and it comes out really crispy and flat like it's not all like super curly (laughs) and stuff and um and it's so easy because the air fryer contains all of that oil splatter that you might get if you're cooking it on the stovetop and you don't have to turn on the oven to like you know um, you can just do a small portion for the salad. Oh, Zach Barber, nice to see you here that you're doing well today. Very nice, very nice. Jamie Setchell, you too. Glad you guys are doing doing well. We're doing we're doing good over here for sure. Having a good day. It's been a nice Saturday. Kind of chill. Looks like the sun is out today. Not too foggy. Not too overcast <laughs> in the Bay Area, where it usually is so gloomy. Brian Skinner, what's up, baby? Hey, hey, Brian, I got a bone to pick you with you. Uh, where's my over the rainbow bass line? I'm waiting for your your uh, version, my friend. Um, upright bass, metronome, do it. Let's go. I'm down. I'll release this, uh, like a very special version with you, man. I'd love to do that one. Hurry up, Brian. Acoustic mm-hmm. bass, upright only. Come on, just just upright bass and vocals. That's it. No, nothing else. No drums. Nothing. Make, we'll like kill it. Let's go, Brian. Um, so I just have some uh, iceberg lettuce that I had cut into wedges. So what I do is I peel off the outside layers and then I just cut it in half and then in half again to make wedges. And then I wash it and I let it dry. So that way you can still wash it, but keep keep part of the core intact because it'll help hold your wedge together a little bit better. Um, and so since our, um, we're still a few minutes away from the eggs being done, um, I did actually prepare some eggs in advance. So I'm just going to um, get this peeled. Wouldn't that be crazy if you bought them from the store and they're they're already boiled? <laughs> <laughs> I think they come like peeled though, the ones that yeah, you yeah, which the is store. not as fresh. It seems like you can like I don't I, I wonder don't why they, they don't sell hard boiled eggs like that like in, in the, the shell. in the shell because they can last a long time oh, if they're yeah. hard, like I, I'm not sure yeah. what the reason is. But look how easy that was. That's to really peel. wow like, wow wow. Look at that. Tricks. It's like a magic it's trick. Yeah. Would you like to see it again? Yeah, I want to yeah. see it again. So what did you do? So I just take the um, the hard-boiled egg that, so I'll show you when those are done. It's going to go into an ice bath. Um, mm. 
and then I tap both ends in a little round and you find the pocket there's like a pocket of air and then you just peel and It'll Look at that. It's whole. Easy. No missing wow. pieces. No more Michelle yes. eggs. <laughs> so, and then I just give it a rinse after just in case any shell particles might have gotten stuck. Wait, Michelle, did you teach this to Alex? I did. Yes. He was um, trying to teach me this the other day. He tried to teach you this? Yeah. I was like, this sounds very familiar. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, who's trying to teach you this? Alex. Oh, so, she the, the he's, like, pocket? he's like, hey, do you know about the pocket and the oh, egg? Oh, he stole like, that shit from me. Like, he stole what? that really? from Michelle. Like, this sounds very familiar. Oh, that guy. Alex. Should we, should he didn't we... even credit me. I think, I, think, I think we need to call him out. Let's 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 call him right yeah. now. Hold on, hold on. Let's call yeah. this guy. Let's call this guy. And we don't tell him we love him. Yeah. yeah. Like, don't yeah. say it. No, yeah. we're not going to tell him we love him. We're going to call him right now. We're going to call him right now. Hey, what's hey. up? You're on speakerphone on on uh, stream. Don't say anything stupid. Okay. okay. <laughs> what's up? Hey, uh, so we're sitting here um, talking and stuff, and we're doing the cooking stream right now. And Michelle was peeling some eggs, and she was showing this us this amazing way of how she peels eggs and uh, is able to do it flawlessly, where none of the meat gets lost from the from the peelage. Um, but in, in oh, telling wow. that in the, telling that story, Danielle came out. She told us about how you. Uh, you tried to teach her and put the moves on her by telling her how to uh, peel an egg correctly by using the pocket method, but you failed to mention that Michelle is the one who showed you how to do it. How do you feel about that? I'd like to know um, your response to this accusation because it's official. I would like to know. Wait, what is the pocket method? I don't even know what that is. Oh, 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 oh wow. Oh, Wait, wow. Wow. This, this, mo, this mofo playing dumb to try to get out of it. You know what? Your mom would not be proud of you right now. <laughs> your, your mom would be very upset at you not owning up to what you've done. I can't remember what the pocket method is. Wow. Oh, you uses it to try to impress another person and then fails to even remember what it is. Couple weeks ago or something. But wow! Remember, Alex, you were like, "Did you know there's like a little bit of air in, in like in between the egg, like a little pocket of air that helps to get the egg out?" Remember? Oh, there is a little. No. Oh. 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 You know what? I think I think this conversation is over. Yes. And I think right. it's official. Sorry. No, no, it's okay, man. Guilty. All right, we'll, we'll talk to you later, I guess. All right, you have a you have a good day. All right. Okay. Yeah, we'll see you later, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Bye. Wow. 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 The real Sweet Alex oh shows man. himself. Wow. Yeah. They're like Debbie. You where are yep. Debbie. Debbie. You think Debbie. You know someone. <laughs> yeah. You think you know someone until they steal your egg recipe. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Jin, Jin Kazama. Hello, Jin Kazama. What's going on? How are you? All right. So um, our eggs are done. So we're going to take the lid off. <laughs> you're just going to get a bowl of ice water to put the eggs in. Toxin just donated $5. <laughs> says, uh, Alex just trying to show Danielle his pocket method. Very <laughs> sus. I mean, it was the best pocket method I've ever seen. Oh, damn. Did but, okay, wow. But, Way to jump in the boat. We only, only just learned that it came from Michelle. It was Michelle's pocket method. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah. Okay, so, um, so yeah, you're just going to submerge the eggs, the hard steamed boiled, hard boiled eggs. And um, I guess I can't call them hard boiled because they're steamed. There's oh, no yeah. Boil. Huh. Yeah, there's... Hard steamed eggs. Hard steamed eggs. <laughs> <laughs> In some ice water, um, and you need them to cool completely before you can peel them, like we just did. So um, we're just gonna set that aside. So we have our eggs, and then I pulled out our cloud bread. Oh wow, it looks beautiful. It Look at the color. Good. Look at the color. <laughs> Okay, so this is this so, is a keto keto keto. keto. Is it keto, keto or keto? What do they Actually, say? I don't know, but I always say keto. Okay. Um, I think keto because of ketamine, but yeah, you know who knows. Yeah. Um, but it's a 
Keto cloud bread. <laughs> Keto ketosis, right? Yeah, Keto. I think that's Keto it. Keto cloud bread. It yes. looks beautiful. It looks like little really? pies. Yeah. Yeah, it so looks like flatbread can... almost, but not, but puffy. Yeah. So you can definitely do like a lot of um, different things with it, like use it as like a replacement for like sandwich bread. Yeah. Um, ours is just going to be served on the side with this dipping oil, though. Mm. So um, I guess while that's hot, I can get that plated. Hello, Dave. How are you, Dave? Nice to see you. They say, some sources say it's keto in Thai. I see wolf. Okay, so. I, 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 that makes sense. Um, do I know any The Beautiful South? Is that, what is that? Is that a, it sounds like a musical or something. I'm not familiar with it off the top of my head. No, I'm not sure. They do look good. JL Parks, they do. They would be better if you were here next yeah. to us and able yes. to enjoy them with us. Miss JL has Parks. Has anybody had this before? Like, has anybody tried this? I'm so curious because I'm, like, just learned about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's it's a pretty weird and different thing. Um, I, I think a lot of people would not have tried it yet. Yeah. Well, I, I hope you guys do. I hope you guys try it because it's, it's so easy. Yeah. Debarnik says Michelle's cooking always makes me hungry, even if I just ate. Oh, thank you. Yes, that's exactly how I feel when I watch cooking shows too. <laughs> like, it's no. Let me tell you. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me tell you. Okay. Channel. You. You know what it's like to be like a five billion pound fat guy trying to lose a bunch of weight, and every time you go into the bedroom, the freaking TV is blaring Food Network with the most ridiculously amazing, good looking food. Yes. And like, it's so terrible. You go in there. I'm like, I'm like, you understand? It's like eleven o'clock at night. I'm so hungry. Why are you watching this right now? And it's like, it's like man versus food or, or like some ridiculous binge eating kind of like show where the, the person is just gorging on the most ridiculously insane, amazing, beautiful food. And like I walk in, I'm so hungry and, and she's just hanging out, watching the food. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm so, so hungry. I'm like so hungry right now. What are you doing? I'm like, God. But you know, but I realize at the end of the day that I have to get used to it because uh, if I can't resist and, and the <laughs> urge to eat when I when I see good food, then I'm screwed anyway. So it's a good it's a good lesson for me actually. It helps helps keep me strong. It's like uh, working out every day with my my brain or something, you know. <laughs> Brian Skinner, I see you somewhere over the rainbow cooking with you. I once was doing fine now. I could eat a shoe. <laughs> Chef Michelle exciting <laughs> our taste. <laughs> okay, so there is our um Oh our it's a first whole it's a whole thing. Of this um of our menu. It's our keto cloud bread with our garlic bread dipping oil. Wow. So are you ready, Sunny? Yum. Yes, I am. I am. Brian Skinner just wrote a whole song in the chat in the oh chat on Facebook. <laughs> Wow. Wow. They're awesome. so pretty. Wow, Look so at that. Well, I'll give you guys a quick close up on it real fast. It's still warm. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's it just wow. So the smell is is fantastic. It smells the, I can smell two things. I can smell the the I don't know what to call this. The the egg keto egg biscuit thing from Bob. <laughs> and then I smell of course the dip and the dip is Wow, it's very nice. But the egg thing is awesome. It smells kind of like Yorkshire pudding, but but better. So I'm not exactly sure how to, to describe this. Someone just Venmoed us thirty dollars. Oh, thank you, Brian. Brian, I don't know which Brian, Brian, Brian. but Brian, 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 Brian just donated yes. for thirty dollars. It's 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 Vehan. Oh, Vehan, Vehan just donated three dollars. Says, mmm, food. <laughs> Thank you, Vehan. We love you, Vehan. I don't know if you're watching where and what. I know you're not watching on Twitch because Twitch because we're not on Twitch right now. But uh, thank you. Um, okay, I'm gonna try this right now. Dave just dropped five dollars as well. Says, man, Sonny, mad respect for losing much weight. That much weight with Chef Michelle in the house. Yeah, well, you know, the, the secret actually is Chef Michelle actually helps me lose the weight. She she cooks um, me things like this that help me stay healthy. Um, and, uh, you know, we fight it together as a family. Yeah. It's, I, I have the support of, 
I don't know how many people live in this house, you know? Yeah. But everyone that's here supports me, even Tammy and Ryu, you know, like everybody supports me to try to trying to do the right thing and, and, and because of that I have lost weight and, and it's been working really well. So, okay, I'm gonna try this right now. All right, okay. should I tear a piece off? Sure, yeah, because then right. it'd probably be easier to dip in there. Oh, look at that. Whoa, the whoa, look at that, look at that. Look at the, oh, look at the bottom of that, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm just getting my hands all over this thing. Let's just break it open. Whoa, Ooh, you hear that? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. <clears throat> Too hot. Mm -mm, not at all. That is a great bread alternative. Yeah. <laughs> that is seriously. Holy shit. I think it's only 0.6 net carbs. Okay, this, I just got messed up. I was like eating this delicious thing, and then someone, Ice Man, just dropped $100. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So Ice nice. Man, you're Thank crazy. You. Ice Man just dropped 100. Says, uh, says um, I'm glad you only made it 15 seconds without smiling, Kristen. <laughs> smiling is my favorite. Michelle, everything looks great and you're doing awesome. Thank Plus, you. thanks for the egg explanation yes. on the pocket method. And OMG, Alex is super adorable, so he gets a pass from me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know, I guess I'll forgive him. <laughs> um, uh, David just dropped $5 as well on the Venmo. Thank you very Thank much, you. David. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is Chef Michelle's pocket methods. <laughs> you guys are great. Michelle, this, so Iceman, you're insane. Thank you very much for the donation $100. That's huge for us. Thank, Thank you, you very, very, very Thank much. You. This, Michelle, is crazy. This could be, it's like, I don't know. You could use it as bread. Yeah. You could use it as like a sandwich. Yeah. It is, it's super light. Or like a but pizza crust. Yes. Like, yes. Yeah. You absolutely could. It's, I got to take another piece. It's very, very good. And you could tell it's healthy, but still very satisfying mm -hmm. um yeah. it's very good you guys this is really really good and i think that like the garlic dipping oil yes helps oh to, man like, it totally does make it feel like it's not diet mm -hmm. food. yeah um because it's mm. got so much flavor like all of it is really good, good for you wow. the garlic is good for you and that is really yeah. good that's, uh, that's a great Ooh, snack oh it's so light we need to have these like around all the time yeah yeah because i would totally eat that instead of chips or instead of anything bad <laughs> No, that's like really freaking yeah. good. Seriously. I think you could do like for breakfast, maybe mm -hmm. put like some um some jam. Instead of instead of um instead of an egg McMuffin or a yeah. muffin or anything, mm. that's like perfect. Oh yeah. my god. That is super mm. good. Um yeah. this is Thank this is you. yeah, this is really good. <laughs> um mm. Well, I'm going to, uh, while you. you guys finish tasting, I'm gonna get our salad plated. So I've got our wedges on our plates, and I'm gonna use some um some of this blue cheese dressing. Oh, Brian Skinner, I'm glad you could join us today. Is your, uh, Brian, today is Brian Skinner's first cooking show with Michelle. Oh, so, awesome. Brian, Brian is one of our um, most wonderful supporters of music. Yes, um, and I've we heard. met We met Brian in, in uh, Livermore, I think, uh, I can't remember the first time, but I remember definitely when, when Brian came to our show at Sauced. That's awesome. Yes. And um, and uh, she's sure. yeah. And Brian sat like right right near the front. Um, had a friend with him too. And like man, the vibes that Brian was putting out was so positive and so full of love. It was so crazy. We got to chat to him yeah, so much appreciation for the music yeah. and artistry and 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 then it turned out that Brian, which I already knew before I met Brian that day. Brian was um was a, is a wonderful musician. Uh, plays upright bass. Is very talented. That's is so is an awesome. ear player. Um, I, I don't know if uh, if Brian has had formal training or not, but but you can tell that Brian plays with his heart and soul. It's amazing. Good stuff, Brian. <clears throat> um, that that's insane. That is so good. <laughs> that's really good. Oh my god. Yay! Like it's like weird. It's like so cheesy. Yeah. It's I don't it's know really why. Good. It's like oh my god. Oh, it's really so good. good. Oh my yeah. god. Help. What you can be healthy and eat delicious, and food? you can um you, you can, can eat add, tons of those. You can add tons other things to um to that cheese, the egg yolk part. So I added Parmesan, but if you want to flavor it with like you do anything, you know, dried herbs or yeah. um, or you could even you could do you know yeah. you could use like a ground beef in there if you wanted, like oh. cooked ground beef. That would be oh, crazy. God. Like yeah. you do like a, a little ground beef with a little bit of like a fat-free sour cream in the middle. Mm. 
It would be stupid good. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. That's crazy. Yo, Let's do that's it. Dude, that would be that would be <laughs> sick, yo. <laughs> that would be sick. a little freaking dollop of like um that the fat free sour cream or yeah, even yeah, even the yeah. fat free yogurt. Yeah. With a uh, ground beef or ground pork and and gar oh my god we gotta try it that's yeah. like that's gonna be awesome yes. oh my goodness now now I'm really freaking oh hungry I'm Shit. hungry too I know. oh I'm my sorry, gosh guys we have it, you know what food it, on the way awesome. it also reminds me of those little Brazilian um those yes, yes, yes 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 they do they have the same yeah. color well those earlier. are those are made of the same similar thing but they add some. Like flour or something yeah, yeah, to make yeah. it chewy and more cheese. Yes. They, yes. Had, a, they had like a yeah. shit ton of cheese. Yeah. Like well, oh my god, that's yeah. so good with that oil. Is like crazy. Oh, it's really, really good with that oil. Wow. Very good. Like, if any of you guys are dieting and you feel a little like, you know, a little like, dang, like it's tough or anything, you just you can go make this bread and eat it. Yeah. Love it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and it's good for us right now because we're all like everyone in the house is right now is on the the healthy house kick. You know, we're trying to trying to all like make sure that we're healthy and, and slimming down and all this stuff and and uh, except for Eric Eric yeah. Eric doesn't have to die he just uh, he just awakens thin every day yeah, of his life health just like, like, yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he's he had nations, nations. <laughs> like, yeah. Christ I walk over there what are you doing he's like oh I'm having some nations I'm like dude come on it's like, it's like no it's really good I'm like damn man <sighs> yeah he does eat healthier now than he did before. Like I think it's because you're feeding him. He used to only eat, like, <laughs> literally he would just eat junk, like, fast food, junk food, like, all day, every day. Yeah. And he was the skinniest person. Yeah, and he's still like, still skinny. I mean, he doesn't yeah. have to, like, do anything. He can eat whatever he wants. Hello, hello, Charles Stewart. What's up? What's going on? Yes, don't forget the stove, Charles. Come on, don't neglect the stove. Um, Tim Tesk. Hello, Tim Tesky. How are you? Nice to see you. White Fisher is here. White Hello, Fisher, you Fisher. big poop head. Hello, White Fisher. How are you, my friend? Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm just um, putting on some. Um, so I had our hard boiled eggs, or steam boiled. Or, oh, wait. Hard steamed eggs. I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Hard steamed eggs. Hard steamed. <laughs> like steam boiled. What? Steam no. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we had uh, our our eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Your hard steamed eggs. <laughs> um, and then just some diced Roma tomatoes, our bacon. I'm going to put a little bit of shallot on here. Not too much because you guys got to sit next to each other. <laughs> hey, Stephen. Hey, Stephen. Hey, what's going on? And and then to finish it. Oh, wait. forgot our shrimp. This is our shrimp that we did earlier. At least you didn't forget it in the oven. I know. Or the air fryer. Or, or, or the, the microwave. microwave. <laughs> That's usually the place that it's, it's hiding. I find it, like, literally after we finish eating. And I'm like, no. Uh-oh. How did that happen? We have a, we have a question from Andy. Uh, Andy's, uh, As uh wolf. yeah, Andy Wolf, yes, Wolfville says, I have a question for Sunny and Michelle. Who fell in love first and why? Was it for the music or for the food? Was it for the music or for the food? Oh, God. I'm not going to answer this question. In the risk of possibly being emasculated, I will not talk about it. I refuse, Andy. Um, uh, Tim Tess just dropped nine ninety nine. Thank you for the thank you for the donation, Tim. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Because everyone popping off love today. This is crazy. You guys are so supportive here. So much love. This is crazy. You guys are nuts. So, um, yes, I will answer that after I serve this salad to Sunny. <laughs> Brian, bye, Brian Skinner. I'll see you later. Bye, Brian, love you, dude. Love you, Brian. You bye. take care. Have a great day. Much love to you. Bye, Jamie. Goodbye. Bye. Uh, so I just put our shrimp on, and then I'm going to finish it off with our, um, it's a balsamic glaze. Mm. Mm. Balsamic glaze. <laughs> and this just makes it, like, so fancy. Oh, I love that. I love yeah. that. Uh, this little, I love that motion as you're at the end of the cooking. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of yeah. pepper. Yeah, I must have the cracked pepper. Ooh, no, looks good. Oh, overboard. no. Get 
<laughs> Run away, shrimplers. Okay, that was awesome. So, this is our shrimp wedge salad. Um, That's a lot of wedge salad. Well, it's to share. And people, it's a you very, guys are hungry. It's a very, very, so. very big wedgie. <laughs> Um, it's a very big wedge. This is definitely oh like a fork and knife kind of situation, so I'm gonna grab that. Hello, are you serious? Just kidding. Hello, welcome. <laughs> Whoa, that scared me. Oops, sorry. Wow. <laughs> no, it's no, okay. I did. <laughs> I, was looking, I was looking over at the thing. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is what we. Oh, look at that! Look how beautiful. All right, let me switch screens. Yes, give, give you guys a close up. Oh, look at this. Mm, want a little bit of this? Would you like a little bit of this? <laughs> like a little bit of this? Hello. It looks beautiful. It smells delicious. Thank you. Oh, God. That smells so good. And and is there cheese on this, Michelle? Oh, my gosh. I did forget. Oh, shoot. There's I'm sorry. Blue cheese. Uh, yeah, I, I just, forgot. I was, I could smell it like. Something There's supposed to be but, blue cheese crumbles, but okay. I hid it for myself. I oh, forgot. okay, here. I'm going to get back to you. Okay. Or I'll just come over there. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh. Let's do it. So oh, blue okay. cheese crumbles. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Oh, no, it's all good. Oh, yes. That sounds beautiful. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Did one drop on you? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. A little more, a little more right on top, a little more right on top. Oh, oh no. god damn it, he's oh. showering me. Oh god! Oh, it's a blue cheese Yo. shower! <laughs> your foot. I'll grab it. it okay. <laughs> Thank you. Say it's your favorite shower. No, I've just been showered in blue cheese. <laughs> right, here it is. There it is. Oh, are you serious? Look, look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite. I'm gonna go back to this one. Okay, is it, it's cut. Is it, I can't remember. Is, do I need to cut it? I do need to cut it up. You do have to cut it, yeah. All right, one second, guys. Can't do this all on, all on the screen together. Oh, I want to hear this. Yeah. All right, there we go. There, there's so many amazing flavors in this that salad, Michelle. Um, so I have the Cobb salad all the time. And a wedge salad, I'm sorry. I have a web wedge salad from, from Jack's and all these different places, right? This this wedge salad. This is crazy. Okay. There's so many parts of my mouth that are on fire with flavor. This is very, very weird because I have this out all the time. I'm a big cop, I'm a big uh, wedge salad guy. It's healthy, it's easy, it's clean. You can get a lot of places and it's 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 actually kind of hard to, to mess up. That being said, this wedge salad is probably the, the my most favorite that I've ever had. Oh, oh like out of all the times I've made it. Stuff. Yes, and, and and beyond that, just also the other ones from other restaurants and stuff. Yeah. So I don't know what it is, whether it's just the the balance of the flavor today is off the hook. Yay. Um, it's like on fire. I can taste awesome. every 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 part of the salad. I can taste it very clearly. Nothing is overpowered. The, the you use the right amount of balsamic with the dressing and the blue cheese. It's crazy, the, and the the smoke on the barbecue is like, or the the uh, bacon, yes, is phenomenal. Oh man, I don't even want to. I literally don't want to share this. It's really, really good. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it, and thanks for reminding me about the blue cheese because oh, that was definitely like oh a gosh. main ingredient, and I totally forgot it. <laughs> it was crazy, absolutely nuts. What would I do without Sunny? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, you would remember. <laughs> 
Seven. Andy, thank you for the 490. Andy, Andy just dropped another 499. Says I'm off to bed to sleep. Thank My you. final challenge is who say who can say Iris wrist raw? I can't even say it once. <laughs> who can say Iris wristwatch times three as fast as possible? The best. Well, we know that's not me because I messed it up already. You guys Probably can try it if you not want to. Me either. I think Kristen could do it. Yeah. No, yeah. What? <laughs> you could do it, and and uh, Jake might be able to do it because oh, yes. he's weird. Yeah. Mm. That was fantastic. That was really good. <laughs> oh That's gosh. right, Eric Constance. I'm not even afraid. Oh I'm not even gosh. afraid. <laughs> All right. Um, so we are going to get started on our... Um, we're going to do our Zupa Tassana next. And this is a, a really healthy soup that I've been making for Sunny. Um, there's actually a, a TikTok video that I um, that I made. It's on uh, Sunny's um, Sunny's TikTok account, and uh, and it's super easy. <laughs> and um, I think this soup originated from Olive Garden. <laughs> really? You, yeah, I think. No like, way. Yeah, I think it's like a famous Olive Garden soup. I don't remember eating it when I went to Olive Garden, but. Um, they typically, I think you use potatoes in this soup, but I do just cauliflower, um, so there's no carbs, um, like there's no potato starch or anything like that in it. So, um, so we are going to start off by putting some butter into a pan. So good. That is really good. That is really so good. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying. What? Oh, is it can I have the things that you just moved? Yeah. <laughs> I know, Sunny, you don't have to feel guilty about I don't. <laughs> That's why I'm about to shout out on these mo mo mo. stuff today. This stuff is so yeah. good. I'm having I'm gonna have some more of this. Wow. I really like this. Because like the stuff is like healthy, but so flavorful. Yeah. It is. You know, like it, I, I mean, I growing up, I always had this perception that like healthy food, you, you know, wasn't very flavorful. You know what I mean? But like, wow, this stuff's great. Yeah, Danielle didn't even like eating vegetables. Oh, I did not eat vegetables but... growing up, <laughs> like at all. But now you make beautiful salads. Thank, Thank you. Really With good. your guys' help, Michelle and Sonia <laughs> taught me a lot, especially when it comes to like being healthy. <clears throat> um, roadside carcass. Um, it is a very small kitchen, yes, but it can be a powerhouse. Yes, <laughs> you learn to make use of the space. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really tough to share this space. Like trying to cook with more than more than uh, one person is really hard. Okay, so we have um, some butter and shallots going in the pan. This is awesome. This is like works so well. Dude, it's crazy. It's like perfect for me. Yeah, it really is. And then we're gonna get our garlic. And I have this on medium heat, so you don't wanna you don't wanna burn the garlic. Awesome. It's good. It's like so good. It's so healthy. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know it's rare for me to have like a healthy menu for the guys, so enjoy it today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we are gonna take our, um, this is some mild Italian pork sausage and Take some scissors, some kitchen scissors. We'll put the top. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then you just kind of squeeze it, squeeze it out of this casing. <laughs> Looks like you want me to take it back. And, I'm um, and I like to use this tool um, to help break up the the meat. 
You've been addicted to that thing. I it's, love it's, it's, it's so my awesome. So my handy. mom got it for me, and I like am obsessed with this tool. Like I, I think next to the air fryer, it's my favorite kitchen tool. That's awesome. Ooh. That's great. I think it's knocked off my garlic press. Oh, oh that's my gosh. funny. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't see what went into the bottom of the pan. Is that garlic? Oh, that was, um, it was butter, uh, shallots, and garlic. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you want... No, I'm good for now. Thanks. White Fisher just dropped $25. Oh, thank you. Thank you, White Fisher. Thank you. We love you, thank too. You. White Fisher says, just thank love you all. Well, we love you too, White Fisher. Hope Thank you're you having for... a good day. Yes, indeed, my <laughs> friend, indeed. Let's start this track over. So we just dropped this track. This is Devil Outside, guys. If you haven't already heard it, you're listening to my latest track, Devil Outside. I love that song. Yeah, it's fun. And we're about to drop another one. The Gummy Song is coming out very soon, y'all. Should be out maybe Monday or Tuesday. The official Amos 4D gummy song will be released into the public. And that's a worldwide distribution. We're going to be featured in, I think, believe, I believe we're going to be in commercials and all sorts of stuff. It's going to be kind of crazy. It's going to be nuts. So awesome. Worldwide. It is the anthem for the company. So it's freaking and huge. And gummies are so good. They are really They're good. They're so really good. good. They're really good. Zach Barber, what is this? The Steel Panther put out put out a song called F2020 where Satchel plays a guitar solo on ukulele and someone's watching him on a smartphone. Are you serious? Are you serious? What the hell? <laughs> really? Yo, I'm going to go find that video. That's messed up. Awesome. That sounds like a good recipe, Doxon. What is it? This is uh, my favorite broccoli recipe. Saute, make room in center, and heat some red pepper flake and soy sauce. Fish sauce, salt, stir, fry for a few minutes, remove heat from heat, and a splash of vinegar. That, that sounds, sounds really good. good. Yeah, it sounds very simple, very clean, very delicious. Yeah, very Thai. Like, yeah, Thai very Thai. Thai. I like your fish sauce usage, my friend. I love it. Hello, Diane. Hello, Diane Fallen. Hey, John. Thank you, Doom Cypress. Thank you for listening to, to Devil Outside. I love that you love it, man. That's great. This song is so good. Like, you can't, like, not move to it. It's like... It's so catchy. It's so good. I, I yeah. feel cool listening to it. I was saying that the other day. I was just like... Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, let's, like, yeah, let's go party. Like, yeah. <laughs> let's go party in the kitchen. Yeah. Because we can't we go do. outside. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a hype song. Okay, so our, our meat's gonna still keep cooking, but I wanna season it with some salt and pepper. Diane, we're good. We're good. We're, we're all wonderful and well today, having a good time, just hanging out, doing some cooking. We're we're doing some healthy food today, so yeah. I've been I've been in heaven because I've been able to eat more food <laughs> than I usually can. Usually, I can at least literally sample like a little bit here and there, and I have to give it up. I gotta like quickly Take pass it, it on. Yeah, but today I, I had like a almost a full serving of the appetizer, which is the keto cloud bread. It's so soft and so delicious. Really, really wonderful. Really good. Chicken broth now. Um, <laughs> Ice Vance, Ice Vance said, just dropped twenty dollars. Michelle says that's awesome about the gummy song. Exciting stuff. I can't wait. Um, then says, please don't forget to tell the falling in love with Sunny story, Michelle. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did forget actually. I got distracted by the blue cheese. <laughs> terrible, that was terrible. Sunny's, Sunny's plan all the long. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I tried to misdirect it. I tried to like, you I was tried. like, the blue cheese yeah. is in there, guys. But yeah. I tried to like lie, you know, <laughs> tried to throw everybody off. But then you had to come in with a donation because you knew I was going to read that. 
And he's like, oh, they're not getting out of this one. Oh. Come on, Iceman. What you doing, man? Don't do that to me. Um. <laughs> you know, we're coming up on our... Uh, our nine-year Our, like, what, two-year anniversary or something like that? <laughs> yes, Sunny and I have been married for almost nine years. That's Nueve. Wow. Yeah. In Spanish, pretty, in case you didn't know. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Um, and yeah, we, we, it definitely feels like a lifetime for it does. It's, it's, it seems it's unbelievable how, how quick it's, it's all passed, you know? Yeah. So coming up on the 18th. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, me and Sunny were actually friends first before we started dating. <laughs> and, um, Sunny is actually very, very gifted at, at knowing knowing people. He definitely knew me <laughs> and and all of my all of my good things, all of my bad things <laughs> before I even really realized them about myself. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, Sunny definitely <laughs> fell in love with me first. Whatever! Oh my god! You're so full of crap! You're so full of it! Dude, whatever! You're so full of crap! So you don't even know. You don't even, you don't even know this. You don't even know. Whatever. You're so full of crap. Oh my god. It's, it's okay. Oh, oh, it's okay. You're such an ass butt. Oh my god. This is so bullshit. Such, this is so ridiculous. See, this is what happens when you guys ask these, these lame questions. Um, yeah, but... It's terrible. I love you. I don't. I don't even care. I don't care anymore. I don't care. I can't even hear you. My headphones are hello. Hello. Something's going on here. It's not working. This is ridiculous. All you, all you but, chat too. YouTube chat. I don't. But even if, even if Sunny did fall in love with me first, like I am definitely the luckiest girl in the world to be married to him. <laughs> I can't talk too much about it because I will just start crying out of like <laughs> joyful tears for <laughs> the depth of my love for him. <laughs> but he really is like, ah, it's already starting. <laughs> um, the most amazing person. If you um, don't know him, he's he's incredible. So um, definitely a beautiful person inside and out. <laughs> and I won't say anymore because I already feel it coming. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, next subject. Yes. Right. But yeah. if you do want to see proof gonna... of Sunny's love, then just go ahead and check out this video, guys. <laughs> oh, check God. What video is it? It's the video of Sunny singing to you on your, in your wedding. Oh, oh I thought you were going to link Devil Outside. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not the Devil Outside. <laughs> and I don't know who Eddie is. Okay? <laughs> you know, if you don't know Eddie, what she's talking Eddie. about, you got to go listen yes. to the song. Yes. <laughs> And he is still here too. Really? Andy, Andy what are you doing? Oh he gosh. waited to hear the story. Get out of here, he Andy. Had to know. Get out of here. <laughs> Tim Teske, thank you for the silver on Reddit. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Hello, Hannah. How are you, Hannah Gadlidge? Hello. I love that name. I don't know what it is. I love that name, Hannah Gadlidge. It's great. It sounds like a, uh, I don't know, like a movie star yeah. or something. Yeah. Like, oh, with that movie, have you seen that one yeah. with Hannah Gadlidge oh in it? Oh my gosh, I love her. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's like. <laughs> It's like, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, well, um, so I have our, um, our soup coming up to boil. So again, this is the ground sausage with uh, shallots and garlic. Um, it's also got some chicken stock and I'm just putting a lid on it for it to come up to a boil. So um, in the meantime, I'm gonna get prepped for our next um, menu item, which is our kanyaki carbonara. So bacon is definitely going to be a big part of this carbonara. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to slice this up. Iceman just came in with another $5 donation. Oh, 
thank you. Um, yeah, maybe. It says, uh, it says, dude, I completely love bombed my husband. And I'm totally cool with it. <laughs> thank you for your donation, thank you. Iceman. Thank you very thank much for your support. You. you guys are the best. This is unreal. You guys come in and, and always just give so much love. It's it's super incredible, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, it's okay, Iceman. You don't have to stop. It's, it's all good. I know it's all in love, man. It's all in yes. love, man. No, we, we love that you're here, that uh, you hang out with us too, Iceman. It's, it's super dope. Hannah Guy lives. You love chicken. I love chicken too. And the donation song. <laughs> chicken and the donation yeah. song. That's oh. awesome. What a great combo. Yeah, you can eat it while watching us for the donation song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is this kunyaki um, noodle package. So it's like in this kind of brine i guess you can say oh yeah um yeah it's a, it's not a salty brine though it's no, like it's, it's like some sort of a solution though yeah it definitely i don't think it's just water it, it must be brine right? just a light brine it's not yeah. super salty you know um but um uh, we're gonna drain it and don't be put off if some some of them have like a smell like yeah an odor. so so kunya let me explain what kunyaki is first so yeah. kunyaki comes from the sea um and it's um it's like a, I, I believe it's categorized as like a seaweed or um, um, it's a, let me, let me just double check. I will look it up right now just because I don't want to misinform you guys. Kun yucky. So it is a, it is a plant. Okay. The root um, of the kunyak plant. Yeah. And, and they call it, they, I, I knew it first as a, as a, as a yam cake. That's the first, first way that I, I, I like found out about it. Some people call it shirataki noodles, some people call it konyaki, um, and it comes from the konyak plant, which is, it's spelled K-O-N-J-A-C. Um, and I think, I was under the impression it is from the, from the ocean, but I cannot get a confirmation on that right now. Um, in Thai, we call it bu, which is a funny word. Um, I'm trying to find... A definitive answer on where it is from. Wow, it's so it is. It's very close to zero calories, and it's ninety-seven percent water, and the three percent that's remaining in it is fiber, and it's amazing. So it's like zero net carbs. Yeah, it's yeah. super crazy. And it looks a little funny, and the brine that it's in, it's actually kind of. It does have a funny smell sometimes. It's not like the raddest. But it's freaking amazing. I'm telling you guys. Uh, I can't find where, like, whether it's a sea plant or not. I don't have a confirmation. Damn. All right. Well, anyway, uh, it is something that's super good, you guys, and something that's wonderful. And it, it is very, it's got the springiness to it that tastes like like a pasta, but it's not. And it's very healthy for you. And, and it's it's delicious. It is a great alternative for you guys if you're craving carbs and you and you want to be healthy, and you want to go poop a lot, this is what you do. You eat this thing and just... It makes you poop, Oh, too? yeah, it makes you poop. Oh, yeah. It makes you poop. Yeah. It makes, it makes you poop. It makes you poop. Yeah. For sure. Yes. It does. But it's super awesome, you guys. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, I think it was Macy. Oh, oh. Macy stepped on my foot pedal. That's awesome. Macy stepped on my foot pedal. She might have found a little blue cheese crumble. I yeah, so this is a this is the the kunyaki or shirataki noodle. So they like look like like real pasta noodles. Um, oh. <laughs> Macy, <laughs> sweeping. Yep, it's just like I know. Food has been here, and now I will be here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave, Dave says, I love how positive you guys are in, in this uncertain time that's full of so much division. It's why I keep coming back. Aww. I appreciate you guys. Dave, Thank I appreciate you. that. You know, life is crazy, you know, and, 
And you, we, you're right. You, we don't know really what's going on right now. But all we do have is the positivity that we can put forward, you know? So I appreciate that, that very much. Thank you, Dave, for being here. Okay, thank you, White Fisher, for finding it. Now, so, so is it? It does not grow in. It's not a sea plant, right? It's not a. Why am I thinking of a sea thing? I'm Maybe not you're sure. thinking of that other thing. I am I'm thinking yeah. of the other thing. I don't know which Wait, one though. I'm mixing the, it up. The uh, the the little um other thing that you told me to to do something with it. Oh, the water one. Yeah. Um, that one is from the ocean. There's another thing that I thought, but anyway, anyway. Yeah. Um, the White Fisher's got it. That's the that's the correct breakdown. Yep, dark purple spadix. Yep, that's it. That's what it looks like. It's so good. It's so good, you guys. Yeah, they sell them. Um, they sell them pretty. It's pretty common to find now at the grocery store, um, or they definitely have it at the Asian market. And um, I think you might even be able to order it on Amazon. Um, yeah, you can. You can definitely get it from Amazon. Um, Hannah Gadlich is asking, who snores the loudest in the band group? Well, oh, that, that's snoring? easy. That's easy. It used to be me. It used to be. Now, now I don't snore anymore. Ever since I lost weight and I'm on the Apti machine, there is no snoring at all. I silently just just, just lay there like yeah. I'm dead. Yeah. Like literally, it's like I'm dead. You're it's so crazy. peaceful. I am. So peaceful. Yeah. I don't move. I don't roll over. I don't no. get up to pee. <laughs> yes. Nothing. Before, I would get up every five minutes, and it was the worst thing in the world. But now. Yeah. That has been solved. That's part of the reason why I was able to lose this weight. Um, as far as anyone else who snores a lot or loudly, I would say it's probably a tie between, I believe it's... My foot pedal. Whoa. Oh, is Macy there? No. Macy's Macy stepped on my foot pedal. What, what the hell? Is that recorded? It recorded. It, she hit the looper button. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my gosh. Macy. Yeah, she hit the looper button. You're that's really so, funny. Like, that's so funny. That's really it, like, funny. like, looped back around to forever. Anyway, um... So the, the loudest is actually, that's funny that, that it was just said that. The loudest in the band is Macy. Macy snores yeah. the loudest. It, it's a, kind of a tie between Macy and Kristen. What? 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 Kristen, Kristen snores pretty How do you loud. Know? Well, I, I've, I've seen you fall asleep on the couch. That's I, true. I've seen you fall asleep on the, and on the couch. You're like, and she's like, she's like a. <laughs> it's like, it sounds like she's hawking a loogie. I just want to sing to you it's, in my sleep. What? <laughs> it comes out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but but definitely Macy's the one who takes the cake. Macy yeah. snores really loud sometimes. So she sweet. does. She's really cute when she cute. sleeps. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I snore, but I grind my teeth, um, which is uh, not a pleasant sound for Sunny. <laughs> you don't? I don't. Well, so so I don't think you grind your teeth anymore, but I would know because I'm not awake. Yeah. For it. Yeah, I have no so, idea. I have either. no idea. I, but I don't but ever like walk in the, the bedroom when you're sleeping and, and hear you yeah. grind your teeth anymore. But, if but you it used wondered, to sound like crazy. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. So if you ever wondered why my teeth look so straight, it's because I've like literally grinded them down flat like over time. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like extra flat, like, which makes them appear straighter. Yes. Plus, thanks, mom and dad, T for the. Tips and tricks. No, just kidding. Tips and tricks. Well, I have braces twice, also. So, thanks, mom and dad. Everyone's been grinding their teeth. Grind your teeth. How to get straight teeth in like 30 days. Oh my god. Oh man. No, do not do that. <laughs> Yeah, Wolf, uh, the, uh, there is a TikTok of uh, Macy snoring for sure. I think it's on Reels on, um, on uh, Instagram as well. It's so cute. Yeah, TikTok's a funny one. You know, TikTok is a funny one to use, but it's a fun one to surf. There's a lot of really great content on TikTok. And I know that people hate it and a lot of people don't like it. I love it. I, I love think it. there's, I think there's some, yeah. as long as, I mean, there's a bunch of noise and a bunch of stupid stuff that gets posted, but there's a bunch of great stuff too, you know? So. Okay. <laughs> what? Like, what? Yeah. what is that? <laughs> <laughs> White Fisher? What? I can't, I think he's very sarcastic. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, okay. We got a. Uh, who's the better dancer? Can we get a dance off? Oh. Okay, that's easy. I know who the best. That's the easy one. Yeah, that's the easy one. That's definitely Eric. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Eric. Eric is an amazing dancer, but but for some oh reason he, he doesn't really dance very well unless his clothes are off. That's weird. <laughs> it's really weird. It's like like once the clothes come off, that guy's like. <laughs> Like he's like, it's, like, yeah, it's like crazy, you know, but when the clothes are on, it's like he's just so restricted. Well, you take away his signature move. <laughs> Whoa, what's the signature move, Jake? Why don't you show us? Oh my gosh. Yes, what is this? It's the helicopter. The helicopter. What is the helicopter? <laughs> oh my gosh. What, what the heck, Jake? You want to show me what the helicopter is? Or are, are, are you able to do that even? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy if I did. <laughs> oh, man. No, so I think the best dancer in the house is probably Danielle. Danielle can dance. She can dance really well. But yeah. unfortunately, she's not able to dance anymore because she hurt her back. True. You got some moves, True. Man. Me? Yeah, I think no. Sunny is the best dancer. I'm not the and best not dancer. Only, not only, like, no. dancer, but also... Has rhythm too. Uh, I, I like I like to dance. <laughs> I like to dance. I, unfortunately, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I don't have the stamina to be able to do that anymore because of my weight. But I mean, one day when I lose the weight, I swear I'm gonna be giving you guys some crazy performances. Well, we so. see you in stream yeah. too, and, and then we, we try and dance you. Moves. Yeah, and we're it's like, oh my god, it's so cool. And then we're like, yeah, like <laughs> unless you clap, we don't copy but that. Then uh. yeah, then, <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> No, I love to dance, and then Jake likes to dance. Yeah, Jake, yeah. Jake's a little dancer. Yeah, but, you, but you only dance. You only dance when the right kind of music comes on. Like Jake, Hot Jake summer. likes. Jake likes to dance. Like you know, for me, like I like to dance when I'm like, a poof, tick, a poof, 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 you know, like something like you know, right? But Jake's like, as soon as he hears a. <laughs> He instantly if you if you hear if he hears that if he hears that he gets yeah, yeah. he gets he's like he's like crazy he gets crazy oh he's so his, his booty starts bumping it's oh like, he's like <laughs> it's like crazy oh he's like he's he's like the Viking you know it's yeah, freaking insane he's like, his head he's, like he's like techno Viking but like way way smaller. It's insane. No, it's super crazy. It's so great. It's so nuts. Oh, my favorite move that Sunny does, though, is this one. When he goes like this, he's like, yeah, we're like flying high like eagles. That's what I think of when he does it. I was like this. I love this. That's a great one. And, so then, and then Michelle can dance, too, but she only dances when Cardi B comes on. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's like, oh, yeah. Or Doja Cat. She's like, or Doja Cat. Okay, so it's got to be... It's gotta be <laughs> <laughs> it's like we'll be sitting, we'll be yeah. sitting in, in, the, in the living room, and then I, I just got this new Alexa um, Echo Studio thing, and uh, like she'll just bump this thing in the bathroom, and we'll hear it from like three walls over, and just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing yeah. my hair. Yeah. <laughs> yep. System Cardi B. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> And, and then I like I want like, go into the room because I'm just bathroom and she's like curling and I just see I just yeah <laughs> oh get it girl I love it it's so great Sunny <laughs> these are like, like private things that we don't share with people. oh I, oh my bad <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry <laughs> oh man uh, and and back to some food. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I put the cauliflower in the pot that um, I came up to. Did you? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What happened? I don't know. Danielle disappeared suddenly. Danielle, yeah, what happened to you? Danielle, are you okay? where are you? I think she's relating it to something else. Are you on the ground? <laughs> what? Cauliflower. <laughs> Cauliflower, like the vegetable. Oh, yeah. No, I get it. Vegetable. I get it. I get it. She's got some cauliflower in the pot. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody no. ever clipped that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, this is oh, a man. family friendly cooking oh, show. Oh man! There's yeah, you're the one who listens to this. <laughs> <laughs> you are Cardi B. Yell it out. She like macaroni said it like a in the pot. <laughs> 
<laughs> she, but she, she'll walk out here. She'll walk out here and be like, I don't know, early morning, like eight in the morning. She'll be like, macaroni in the pot. No, 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 no. He's lying. That's silly, funny. I know, it's funny. Where do you come up with these things? <laughs> Oh my gosh, my cheeks hurt. I spend those. I spend those. <laughs> I spend, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, guys. Um, oh, okay. man. So, um, so the, uh, the bacon, bacon, shallots, and garlic was in this pan for our carbonara. And then I put in our kinyaki noodles. And then I started, um, getting together our egg mixture so this is three eggs that i'm going to add some heavy whipping cream to i am i am sweet and innocent what are you doing <laughs> oh my god <laughs> hey, you guys <laughs> payback is a bitch <laughs> Oh, oh man, I'm sweating. I'm freaking sweating. I got, I got like the. I got like Daniel's the, crying. I got the meat sweats. You guys are terrible. Oh man. Oh. All these lies. I don't even know why it's so funny. Oh. <laughs> um, some salt and pepper. <laughs> And um, so for our, uh, for the soup, <laughs> toxin gets it. Yes. Yes. Hey, Jake, uh, can you grab ice quick sound? Yeah. So while that's boiling, I'm actually going to take, do you ever have Parmesan, like Parmesan cheese that you finished grating and then you don't know what to do with the rind? Um, I actually put it in my soup. Oh. And Whoa. so it like will help extract all the all the flavors and add to like the depth and richness of of your soup tips and tricks so oh my god <laughs> it's weird like like the, like the muscles around my face and like around here it's like they hurt well, you know, laughing so hard. Laughing burns calories, too. Oh, awesome. So, let's just keep doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit more pepper because I like a lot of pepper for this carbonara. And we're gonna add a bunch of Parmesan. So I have this grated Parmesan. I like, I really like the Whole Foods Parmesan. I think it's like so much better than any other Parmesan. Does the rind then come out like a bay leaf? What? Does, does, <laughs> does the rind then come off like a bay leaf is what Kelly Nod oh, is asking. Oh, I'm sorry. I like totally didn't understand what you said. <laughs> what? <laughs> sometimes <laughs> um, but yes it does you just you can just take that take that out just like you would a bay leaf in a stew um, oh sunny <laughs> hey what's this what's this little Macy doing here uh, she's Hello, waiting Macy. Hi. she's like it's dinner time. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hello. Hello, baby. Oh, thanks. Hi. Hi. She's so funny. Did I get a sugar head through? Hi. Okay. So. Why, <laughs> <Hawaii> Fisher? <laughs> Oh, 
goodness gracious. <laughs> Did you change colors? Oh, I don't know what happened. Something got messed up. won't absorb the sauce as much as like regular noodles um, so I'm, I'm curious to see how this will stick <laughs> to it Diane, that sounds familiar. I don't, I'm not familiar with it, but I, that sounds very familiar. Oh my god, it looks so good. Even with the the, uh, the, the shirataki <laughs> or the um, konyaki noodles. Yeah. That sounds. That looks delicious. I had to take it off the heat so we didn't make uh, scrambled eggs. I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do know. I think I know. Yes. Yes, yeah, big, big family, yeah. Mm hmm. Why is Kristen, why is Kristen Lisa Loeb? Why is Kristen Lisa Loeb? I don't know. Listen, Michelle is Cardi B. Oh, no. And, and Kristen is Lisa Loeb. Why is Kristen I Lisa Loeb? <laughs> If you were if you were a um, a celebrity, who would you be, Kristen? Uh, like a, a musical or or any celebrity? Like who would you say? If you if someone was like gonna I, play you in a movie, play your life, who would you have play you? Who would I? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's like four questions. You, you okay? Yeah. If 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 you if, if you had, like yeah, if someone if was I gonna play you, yeah, if you chose an actor to play you in a, in a movie, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm not really. I don't see it, but I, I kind of can see it. That's definitely not Kristen right there. That's definitely not. I think that's Lucy Liu or something. What? Who's Lucy Liu? Isn't that like? No wait, Kristen would have Lucy Liu. No, that's no, weird. I thought that's well, what he like, said no, when that's... he showed it, and I was confused. Oh. Mike, I get it now. Sorry. Um. I love Lucy Liu. I do. I do. But I don't think I don't think Kristen looks like Lucy Liu. <clears throat> Bill Ross says Adele. <laughs> Adele? What? Yeah. A thin Adele or, or larger Adele? <laughs> Which one? So who, who would you who have would to play? You? That's yeah. a tough one. Um, it is super hard. Yeah, that's really hard. I'm like blanking on a bunch of people. Um, no. No, it doesn't look like Christians. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't like just based on like. Yeah, whatever, whatever. I mean, whatever, whatever you think. I mean, it's open, open, she open. Definitely question. play herself. Like, yeah, she can play herself, but I'm not asking you that. <laughs> um, <laughs> she can definitely play herself. Emma Stone would totally slay Kristen, <laughs> or play Kristen. No, would totally slay. ole Kristen. Oh yeah, would would totally ole Kristen. Excuse me, ole. <laughs> 
Um, I assume so. Young Julia Roberts. Oh, oh that's that's, that's cool. That's a nice one. Thank you. That's a compliment. That is yeah, a compliment. Yeah, that's cool. Like the like the prostitute like, one. From I know that's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, the it's a comedy <laughs> woman. A big mistake. <laughs> big. <laughs> oh, I can kind of see that. I can kind of see a little bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's the big smile. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the big yeah. smile. Yeah. Hair not so much, but yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. I see. Right. So, Daniel, who would you have play you? Here's our uh, Kinyaki Carbonara. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> so, yeah, I can see it. it smells delicious. It smells <laughs> wonderful. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, guys. This is what we got going on here. Look at that. Look at that. It's so good. Let me do a close up for y'all. Look at that. Wow. So healthy, right? No carbs in this one. That's so good. Oh, crazy. this looks really good, Michelle. This Thank looks great. You. I can't, I'm going to try this. I'm okay. going to just go yeah. for it. I actually didn't taste it. Sorry, I didn't taste it before oh, I gave it to okay. you. <laughs> wow. Well, listen to that. Okay, that's good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, it's actually, yeah. That's really good, Michelle. Wow, this Thank is really you. good. Um, it's not seaweed, but I guess it's a plant. <clears throat> and it's really good. That is wow. that's pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Wow. So Eating a kinyaki noodle. I could do I could do that. A little more salt. Yeah, a little more salt, yeah. yeah but, but it's really good though. The basis excited. of what that is is wonderful. Yeah. I didn't want to do too salty. Yeah, then you can't so go backwards on that, on. especially with the shirataki. I mean, mm. or the uh, the kinyaki. Yeah. Mm. Wow, it's very good. I like it. That was really good. Here, little noodles. And you don't need a lot, but it'll just like make the soup taste richer. Oh, that's good. That's really good. It's so healthy, Michelle. I can totally tell it's like not heavy, you know? Yeah. Um, I know you don't like yours with red pepper. No, you can put it in. You it's fine. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Not too hot. Not too hot right now. Yeah, I was really struggling to like get the noodles on there for oh, a yeah. second. Yeah, they were really good. Off. Yeah. Mmm. It really does taste <laughs> like like pasta. It's so crazy. Hey Jake, that new song that we recorded. Yeah. Are we allowed to talk about that campaign? I don't think so until after the uh, Okay, alright. So our <clears throat> I'm just getting our Zupa Toscana. Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Trying not to get like a huge bite, mm -hmm. but like. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no, no. It wasn't hot. We're just, you know, I think we're just a little uh, camera shy when we eat, I guess. <laughs> What's up, Maynard? Hello, Maynard Ferguson. What's going on? Sesame Street. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> Hello, Cole Tyrant. What's up? How are you doing, Cole? So I'm just gonna. Oh, this is our. Um, so this is our Zuppa Toscana. Zuppa Toscana. And I'm going to just top this off with a little bit more of the, a little bit of grated yep. parm. Awesome. Nothing wrong with a little grated parmesan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. As it's melting away, <laughs> and then um, just a little bit of uh, red chili. Ready for some soup? Yes, I am. <laughs> What's up, Lizarino? <clears throat> oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my God, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. I'm so afraid I'm going to like spill it because it's so hot. <clears throat> Look at that, you guys. Let me try and do the close up as I spill it all over my keyboard. Uh -oh. No, it's not spilling. It's not? Okay. No. Uh, oh, okay, it's really hot. Oh, it's, my yeah, God. it's pretty hot. Ooh, I'd like touch the plate and it was like super hot. You want hot. a bigger plate, maybe? Um, Should I get a bigger plate? I don't know. I'm just scared someone's going to get hurt. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to slide around everywhere either. Yeah. That's right, I'm just going to chill for a second. Okay, I'll take a bite. <clears throat> and we'll go from there. Let me just, uh, let me have a little... Man, I'm, like, afraid the cauliflower's gonna be, like, piping hot. Yeah. Wow. Okay, not too hot when I'm drinking it or, or having it. Thank you. All right. That is really good, Michelle. Very good. I love this soup because it tastes very clean. Macy's helping me clean up the kitchen. Mmm. I love the soup. God dang. I love the soup. So easy. One pot. <laughs> Dang, this is such great soup. It's so simple. And it tastes so healthy and clean. Iceman says, was Michelle ever a chef in a restaurant? Because she puts those fools on the Food Network to shame. Oh. She's so amazing. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's very kind. No, I, I, I've never worked in a restaurant or a kitchen professionally. Um, just... Uh, just cooking at home <laughs> and, um, you awesome. know, learning as I go and Sunny definitely helps me so much with my cooking, um, with flavors and ideas. He's definitely my inspiration for everything that I cook and really anything that I do <laughs> in my life. So, um, yeah, super, super lucky to, to have him as, as my, mm. my muse. <laughs> uh, well, we're, we're all lucky to have, to have you that, and we get to enjoy all your, um, all your food and your incredible cooking and Thank I think you. through example you've been able to teach all of us to be better chefs and better cooks you know you inspire I know you inspire the girls and you definitely inspire yes. Uh, yes. inspire Alex too yeah um, even though he doesn't credit me for yep exactly <laughs> inspire little Jake Pocket you know yeah. that guy you know I know that's okay though yeah, it's okay <laughs> but um but yeah it's it's like a it's like a circle of life I guess. <laughs> <laughs> could have you said a life, you could have said something else. Yeah, like um, the inspiration circle, anyways. Like, as, I yes. <laughs> as I inspire them, they actually inspire me, and then it just creates this uh, this cycle that like helps us all get better all the time. So um, continuous growth and learning, and um, I know a lot of people relate, you know, eating healthy or going on diets to um, to like New Year's resolutions, but I don't think you have to have a, like 
a New Year's resolution to like make a change in your life. That could happen at any moment in time. You can resolute to change whatever it is that you want to do. Yeah. So, yeah. I so. think that's, um, <laughs> you know, one of the things that's so awesome about this family for us uh, being able to live together and, and, you know, not everybody can live together. It's It takes... Uh, I think a very special group of people who can make that happen and stuff and, and live for as long as we have together. And, and it's been very, very harmonious and very awesome. It doesn't mean that every day is perfect. Of course, we have all have our weak days and our bad days. But but as long as we inspire to become the best person that we can, um, not just not just to other people, not just like the way that I treat Danielle or treat you or the way that uh, you treat Jake or anybody treats anybody else, but, but how we treat ourselves, you know. Um, we've got to try to be the best person that we can for ourselves. And, and in doing that, I think that, you know, we, we, we have things like this, you know, like Michelle is an incredible chef. I mean, Kristen is a great chef. Um, uh, Danielle is now a good chef and, and so is Jake and, um, the fruits of that, we all benefit. We all enjoy together as a family, you know, and look at Tammy. Tammy's killing oh my it. Tammy's gosh. an amazing, yes. amazing baker, oh chef, she uh, the most amazing, amazing, bread. amazing bread, amazing bread. Like, and, crazy that I think stuff. people spend years trying to learn. Oh yeah, yes. literally yes. years trying to perfect that and, and Tammy's got it going on and, and Ryu, Ryu just, I mean out of nowhere, left field, he's just started cooking too and that guy can cook too. Yeah. He made yes. these incredible uh, cookies the other day. Yeah, they were, they were so really good. good. They were like my, some yeah, of my favorite cookies ever. Way good. They're way good and, and like, you know, that's that's what happens when yeah. Uh, when you can uh, inspire each other to be the best that you can, uh, you get these amazing, and amazing things. not be afraid to try. Like, you can't yeah. be afraid to just try doing it like yeah. even if it seems like scary that like oh this is nothing i've ever done before or it's intimidating but you know just try and then you'll you'll learn and figure it out maybe you'll you'll knock it out in the first try but maybe you'll learn from it if you fail you'll learn from it for the next time yeah so. yeah zach no i hear you on that one zach i think that in a lot of cases um roommate situations can end very badly and a lot of times do um but uh like i said you know it t sometimes it takes the right the right combination of people to make things work so it's not like it just it just works itself out every time so but i i hear that and all the more reason to be grateful for what it is that we have so yeah. on that note you guys we're done we're done with today's stream uh, michelle has cooked up a storm we've had the keto cloud bread with garlic dipping oil yeah. a little bit of shrimp wedge salad which was phenomenally fantastic some <laughs> super toscano and of course, we had the konyaki, the healthy carbonara. Everything on the menu today was healthy, actually. Yes. <laughs> um, and and really anything you want can be healthy. That this all comes down to portion control. So, but um, thank you everybody for joining, and thank you for the wonderful donations. That you guys are always yes. so supportive of thank Michelle you. and her new and thank her new you. art and her new passion. <laughs> um, thank you for lighting a fire under all of us and, and making us feel so loved and and inspired to want to bring our best to every show. Um, we'll be back on again on Monday. Tomorrow is Sunday. Uh, we may be playing some Call of Duty on Twitch if I can get around to it. Um, I would love to do that. A little bit of COD on Twitch would be fun. Um, but uh, who knows? So until then, we'll see you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on YouTube at 10.30 a.m. PST. Please check out the new song that's out on Spotify called Devil Outside. It's also on YouTube. Please check out the new videos on YouTube. If you see it or come across them, I am asking you right now. Guys, please make sure that you comment. Please make sure you like. It makes a huge difference for us. It really does. We're trying to make this happen on the YouTube thing. And every time that you guys comment, every time that you share, every time that you click like, it increases the chances that YouTube will recommend our video to somebody we don't know. And we even saw today, we saw some people came in. We had Kylie come in who, who uh, I think just caught one of our live streams randomly. So that's the kind of traction that we're hoping to get so that we can sustain what we're doing. We'd love to be able to bring you content every single day if we can. And you guys do a great job of making that all happen. So we love you guys for that and are forever grateful. Um, until we see you again, hopefully tomorrow on Twitch, maybe. And then most definitely on Monday uh on youtube and reddit you guys we'll see you soon we love you guys have a great and wonderful weekend thank you for supporting us we'll see you later have a great saturday night motherfuckers peace